Welcome to the training module on Voltage Level Translation by Texas Instruments. This training module will cover TI's Voltage Level Translation portfolio as well as all device functionality and featured products. In today's complex and high performance system environment, higher levels of functional integration have led to low power consumption CMOS process technologies operating at lower supply voltage levels. The ability to mix, match, and support the simultaneous use of different operating supply voltage levels on the same circuit board has led to the need for voltage level translation. To remedy this interface, mixed voltage switching incompatibility ability and facilitate logic thresholds switching compatibility between disparate voltage levels, the driver output thresholds must be compatible with the receiver input thresholds and a level translator device can be used to accomplish this. A typical application for voltage translation is shown on the slide. The LCD controller has 1.8 volt IOs whereas the LCD is operating with a higher I.O. voltage of 2.7 volts. A 16, 20, or 24-bit wide-level translator is used in this application to level shift the signals from the LCD controller to the LCD panel itself. This slide shows operation of a level shifting transceiver, which has a directional control signal. The OE bar, or output enable signal, is used to enable or disable the transceiver. DIR is used to control the flow of data. When OE bar is low and DIR is high, data can be transmitted from the A side to the B side. Similarly, when OE bar is low, that is, the device is enabled, and DIR is low, data can be transmitted from the B side to the A side. Dual supply devices are designed for asynchronous communication between two buses of devices operating at different supply voltages. These devices use two supply voltages, VCCA to interface with the A side and VCCB to interface with the B side. For bidirectional level translators, data is transmitted from A to B or B to A depending on the logic level at the DIR input. On devices with an output enabled control input, the A and B buses effectively are isolated when OE is inactive. TI has a wide portfolio of dual supply level shifters to meet the needs of most applications. These devices cover nearly every bit width from 1 bit wide to 32 bit wide and every voltage node from 1.2 volts all the way to 5.5 volts. An 8-bit level shifter, the SN74AVC8T245, is shown on the slide. Due to the growing need for level shifters on portable equipment, all level shifters from TI are available in miniature packages such as wafer chip scale QFN and BGA. This slide shows TI's product roadmap for fully buffered dual supply level translators. They are flexible to translate to or from from a variety of voltage nodes. They have active current drive capability and available in a variety of bit widths. The translator discussed thus far need a directional control signal to guide data from A to B or from B to A. System designers have to use extra GPIOs on the processor and write software to implement these. To overcome these limitations, TI has developed auto direction sensing translators. Also, the name suggests these devices do not need a directional control signal to guide the direction of data flow. The auto direction sensing translators are popular in applications such as SD memory card interface. Majority of the SD memory card operate at 3 volts, whereas some of the processors that they interface with have lower voltage IOs. TI's auto direction sensing level shifters like the TXB0104, which is a 4-bit device, and the TXB0108, which is an 8-bit device, are popular options for this application. 
the architecture of the TXB01XX devices is suitable for driving capacitive loads of up to 70 picofarads. This architecture is not suitable for driving heavy resistive loads or for use along with open drain drivers. In fact, the minimum allowable value of the pull-up or pull-down resistor on the I.O. is 50 K ohm. Operation of a single channel of a TXB01XX device is shown on the slide. The system is transmitting a high signal from the A side to the B side. The high signal reference to VCCA on the A side gets translated to a high signal reference to VCCB on the B side. The output one shot helps speed up the output slew rate and thus improve the data rate capability of the device. Next, the same system is transmitting a low signal from B to A. First, the system driver on the B side has to overdrive the B output of the TXB01XX device, which is holding a weak high. This can be done as long as the system driver has a drive strength of at least 2 milliamp. Once the TXB01XX is overdriven, the low signal propagates from the B side to the A side. The one shot speeds up the high to low transition on the A side and then switches off. TI has four devices in its auto direction sensing translator portfolio. The x-axis shows the bit width, while the y-axis shows the translating voltage range. For example, the TXB0104 is a four-channel device that can translate anywhere from 1.2 volts to 5.5 volts. Another type of auto direction sense and translator is a switch type translator. This device is useful in translation applications where an open drain driver needs to be interfaced. I2C is a popular application for this type of level translation. These translators utilize an N-channel pass gate transistor to open and close the connection between the A port and B port. TI's family of switch type translators integrates pull-up resistors which saves board space and cost in open drain applications. Here we show the device operation of transmitting a high signal. When the open drain driver connected to A port is high, thus you can see it turn off on VCCA side. As turning off VCCA side, the gate bias turns off also, and it pulls VCCB to the internal pull-up resistor to allow the VCCB side to also receive a high. Similarly, we show the device operation of transmitting a low signal. The TXS0102 is a two-channel switch type translator that can be used for level translation in I2C applications. In this example, it is shown performing 3.3 volts to 5 volt translation, but it can also be used for 1.8 volt to 3.3 volt translation. TI has four devices in its switch type translation portfolio. The X axis shows the bit width, while the Y axis shows the translating voltage range. For example, the TXS0102 is a two-channel device that can translate anywhere from 1.2 volt to 5.5 volt. The TXS0104E and TXS0108E have IEC level 4 integrated ESD protection on the B ports, which permit these devices to interface with the external worldwide without the addition of discrete ESD devices. 
application-specific devices end up being slightly custom device. Take the example in the picture. For instance, where the processor needs to interface with the memory card interface, most notably be an SD or SDIO card. During the time of the established connection, it implements an open drain application, thus a switch type translator is needed. However, when it switches to data transfer, the device supplies a push-pull architecture to allow for higher speeds, thus a buffer type translator is needed. So to accommodate this type of application, we made an application-specific device with a hybrid architecture to accommodate the needs. The TXS0206 is a level shifter for interfacing microprocessors with multimedia cards, secure digital cards, and memory stick cards. It includes a high-speed level translator along with ESD protection and EMI filtering circuitry. The voltage level translator has two supply voltage pins. VCCA as well as VCCB can be operated over the full range of 1.1 volt to 3.6 volts. The TXS0206 enables system designers to easily interface application processors or digital basebands to memory cards and SDIO peripherals operating at different IO level voltages.